Let's take a look at the map application on each of the handsets as well as doing a little navigation. Hit the button right, open up maps on both. My position. Zoom out a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Picked up the location pretty quick. Flow on the maps. You can see there's some redrawing on the desire. And it's a little smoother and absolutely no redrawing whatsoever. Let's take a look at satellite view. Both drew it very quickly. Again, relatively smooth. Needs to redraw. One thing that's nice about the uh, N8 is this little indicator in the center gives you the address up here at the top, which is pretty cool. So the N8's a little bit slower in sl satellite view as far as scrolling and definitely and redrawing. Go back to my location and my location on both. All right, and. Let's go to terrain view on both. Layers, terrain. And let's zoom out. Okay. And scrolls pretty easily or flows pretty well. No redrawing at all. And again, the getting some redrawing on the desire. All right, let's do a little navigating. My position. Let's head to someplace different. Navigate to McDonald's. You'll notice the GPS is not on at the moment. So it's going to have to grab it and lock. You can see the GPS is locked up here in the uh, notification bar. So that's the desire. Let's turn that off. All right. Let's go into menu, drive, set destination. Should be under history, I believe. It's already there. There we go. And it's laying out our directions. And once the GPS locks, we should get voice turn by turn navigation. And what's exciting is I've got surfer dude as a navigator. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it to lock very well and get the voice turn-by-turn -turn navigation. The best I've got out of it so far is the GPS is whack, dude. And it looks like we're going to have the same issue again today. Anyway, it does work. It's just not working indoors, but obviously you can see the HCC had no problem. You can see the GPS is still locked up on top. And the APGS is set up on both of them as well. Uh, anyway, so there's a look at the MAPS application as well as doing a little navigating on these two handsets. All right, let's take a look at the gallery on both of these handsets and uh, some still pictures as well as a video. Start out with our traditional flower picture. And they're about the same size there. The brightness on the uh, Nokia N8 makes it a little difficult to see, but trying to make it fair. Let's see, they scroll opposite directions. So our pine cone. We're about the same size. Eh, it's pretty close. It takes a second for the N8 to focus in. It's about there. Alright. There's no parking sign. I'm about the same size. Long shot. There's 
a good look at that. It's a little bigger, there we go, about the same size. You know, indoor shot. And my dog's decided his head should be in this one, so there you go. Zoom in a little bit more. Same size. And then the video should be here and here, and we'll run the Nokia first. We'll run the Nokia first. All right, this time for sure. There we go. And again, I'll post all these uh, pictures up with my review on the website smartphoneandme.com. So make sure you stop by to check these out in person because they obviously look different in person than they do on the uh, run through a video camera. This will give you some idea of the quality of both of the cameras. And again, the, the Nokia N80 is running a uh, 12 megapixel Carl Zeiss optics with the Xeon flash. Whereas the desire is a five megapixel camera with flash. All right, there you go. There's a look at the gallery and some still picture shots as well as a video.